Susan, what you're doing? Oh, red currants. Oh, it's early June and it's the time for red currants. We have so many red currants. We are getting them. They've got still some of them got a long way to go, but we are getting the thing is that we have uh, several plants. I think we have probably four, five, six plants. Yeah. And you know, many of these, we, uh, this one was inherited, but many of them actually we bought from the pound land. Or no, that was 99p shop. 99p shop. That was uh, 2014. Five years ago. Oh, but this tree, this bush, is more than 20 because it was here when the previous owners who, who went to Wales, they had it here. They migrated. They were telling too many foreigners here. <laughs> but they don't realize that the Welsh are not the English. I think they were Welsh, probably. No, they were. They, they were not. Oh, OK. That was by 2012. Mm. Imagine if they were here by 2020, yeah, the what they would have bush, told. I mean, black currant bush, that's there, but there is not much left uh, ready yet. No, 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 that's they are not ready. Look, they are green. So there is a lot here which I can see. I picked them for you here. We missed them last week, didn't we? Yeah, we, uh, we because we had too many things. Drought. We eat a lot so and to... just was taking our time just to water everything. Ah, oh, but we had some early droughts. Yeah. We didn't help. It was impossible, wasn't it? Yeah, this year we have a better weather. Yeah. We have proper sunshine, proper nights for observing the <laughs> stars, Jupiter, moon. And uh, we have some rain, yeah, which... Uh, Reduces the amount of the time, and the trees are growing well, now bigger. And, and they don't need watering anymore. And then from the season to rain, which is when the buds come on the trees, and then the buds swell. And by July, they start to ripen. Mm. My experience is that March and April oh, here is usually oh, what is it? It's a sunny period. Oh no, there it goes. Well, it is. Oh, okay. Bring it here anyway. If you cannot see it, I don't see it. I I saw it land. Oh, I love the smell of these leaves. No, it must have gone there. Leaves of the red currant and black currant. Even the leaves of them. You can make a lovely tea of it, you know that. Hello, little head. How are you? Okay. All right, she says. Susan, I see you already are trying to collect uh, red currants. There's a lot here. And our neighbors now who are lagging behind them came again with the city streamer. Oh, when they will learn that's not that's to use a streamer. Is it? Chocolate tree. Yeah. Somebody told me actually that cherry tree, the chocolate tree, is a pest. You cannot get rid of it in the YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's from Jamaica, probably. Don't know. Oh, from Japan. I remember. It's from Japan. Many things from Japan were introduced here. They're actually invasive species. Like that Japanese knotweed. Yeah. And those canes, what are they called? Bamboo canes. Yeah, bamboo. Yeah, and um, Japanese are invasive. Ones, Japanese. Is it the Japanese pine weed? The nut weed, the Japanese nut, nut weed. Yeah, 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 Everywhere it gets carried by the river. Yeah. Can I get rid of it? And that ivy, the red ivy, the Canadian ivy, that wasn't here in the past. And that just grows. 
wind. I, I wish you'd give me my gloves because I'm already getting stung and getting allergies. Yeah, here. You go now to somewhere else. Let These are the... You have to collect it there. You open the thing. Oh, yeah, but I don't know where they are. Glass was in the polish or not? I'll get them. Pick that, please. Um, you go now that side. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, darling. Okay. Oh.